plan to consolidate all 12 community colleges in the state has slowed down. Just six months ago, the Board of Regents approved a more aggressive plan, but it was rejected by the Regional College Accreditation Authority. As Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis explains tonight, this new updated plan does not eliminate as many jobs or save as much money. The revised consolidation plan approved today is expected to have little, if any, immediate impact directly on the more than 50,000 students at the 12 community college campuses. We're not increasing tuition this fall. Um, as I've indicated, the board has set a two-year tuition um, uh, policy. The second year kicks in this September, and we're not changing that. What the Board of Regents did change was the target date for consolidating all 12 community colleges into one. The new target is 2023. All 12 campuses will be keeping their individual accreditation until then, with local college presidents replaced as they retire by local CEOs reporting to three regional presidents, regionalizing some functions to save $17 million across the system. Adjusting the timeline, giving us a little bit more time for the academic programs to, to align them together, to make sure that we have all of the faculty input uh, to that process, uh, this, this gives a more realistic time, timeline that I'm excited about. Lack of faculty input was a major criticism of the original faster consolidation plan. Ojakian says he hopes that the legislature will budget more money for the system because last year the legislature okayed the state employees union agreement that gives a total of 11% raises to professors starting next year. The fiscal year that begins July 1 of 19 is where we will see these 5.5% increases over July 1, 19 and July 1, 20 kick in, and that definitely will have an impact um, on our budget. Of course, by then, we will have a new legislature and a new governor, and they will be faced with a projected $2 billion a year in red ink. From the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.